I think, Kiki, correct me if I'm wrong, because you said this in the past, I think, previous comments, you said um, it's laws that were put by men to, yes. to more or less oppress women. I don't know. I think oppression might be a bit of a strong word because um, I think a lot of these laws, maybe it's time to review them. Maybe the era, some of, I don't know how long they've been in existence, but I suspect they've been around for some time. And society was very different when they were around. And I'm sure they were made with the best of intentions. But I think the reality is, I mean, we know that, you know, we have, when you look at the whole um, conundrum of like sexual health and education and reproduction, gender equality comes into play. And you do have majority of the lawmakers, majority of governments are men. And this is where I think sometimes people don't get it when they say gender equality. It's not about women taking over. It's for me, gender equality is about diversity because I think people bring different things to the table. And I think if you have women in there, because with the best will in the world, you're not going to understand what it is to be a woman, what it is to raise a child, to have a child when you don't want to have a child. Yes, maybe you've done something, the religious will say, you know, the truth has been revealed or what have you but you know if you're a young person having a child early especially if you don't have a supportive network around you and you have a child with a man that doesn't want to marry you that has like lifetime consequences for your life there's the stigma there's the embarrassment there's everything else you have to deal with if you're an older person as well and you're not married you know or you've had an affair you know i mean the, these are real things i'm not saying right or wrong but these are the issues people have to deal with and so it is a societal issue to some extent and it will come back to haunt society, you know, if, you know, it's not addressed and made more available kind of thing. But like we said, I don't think it should be just made more available. Bam, you need to have like good policies to control it so that it, the whole, that's why I say if it's brought to the forefront, then people can talk more freely about it. People can, you know, empower people a lot more about the things they need to think about, about where it's done, you know, making it more available in legitimate places because people are going to get the drugs from the black market you have counterfeit issues we spoke about you have all the issues that come with getting the drugs that are used which some people use and they even use i was reading up somewhere they even give it the wrong way as well you know so if you make it legal and you make it available in pharmacies you know that they're going to be dealing with a professional they're going to get the right advice they're going to get the right direction when they need to go to a medical facility if you make it available in the hospitals as well that gives people an option and that means that people can have a conversation with a well-trained person and you reduce the risk of those dire lifetime you know negative um consequences that can happen so i think it needs to be you know safe and legal not in i think the, the, it's too narrow at the moment the criteria where it says in the bulk of african countries in sub-Saharan Africa, like you said, yeah. you know, where it's, you know, it's restrictive and said, oh, where the woman's safety is at hand, or I think it needs to be expanded and a little bit more inclusive. And also, if that's the point, when you make it legal, available from health professionals, they will have like a policy and they will know if they have that conversation. You know, I have a friend the other day who was considering abortion and, you know, when she went to the doctors, she changed her mind at the last minute yeah, yeah. because of that conversation oh, with yeah. a health professional, yeah. you know, and she had the child, she's happy now, but at the time, you know, she wasn't in the best of places. And if she had, if it hadn't been legal, if she couldn't have that open conversation and if the doctor felt compelled, she would have gone on the black market and no one would have said, would have advised her anyway. And that could have led to a whole heap of other problems. So this is what we mean when we say, yes, it's a society problem from the point of view of the law, from the point of view of policy, legality, and it will come back to haunt society and people and families. I mean, yeah. we all have, sto I have stories of people up close to me in my family that, you know, have had to deal with the consequences of having a child when they don't want to, or of having, of having an abortion. abortion. Mm -hmm. You know, Kiki, we were talking in the break, she's got, you know, most, if you speak to most people, and that's why I say that 
there is no fear that the rates are going to go up because it's a really hard decision to make. But the rates are going up now, though. They're going up yeah. now because and women coming are coming down making, where it's legal. Yeah, where it's legal. It, it's going up in Africa. And so there is a lot of mortality rates going on. A lot of later on, the consequences of having the abortion, later on, they're having all, a lot of women come from Africa to hospitals here just to have IVF, this, mm. this, QQQ. And it's all because of things that they did previously. Yeah. And, you know, the you church know, is yeah. looking for children. Church women it's and like... all of this. And you ask yourself, but you see, having an abortion is a major decision for a woman. Mm. You know, if you have an abortion where maybe you are in a marriage, da, 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 but it is financial mm -hmm. or it's age, you know, you are 40 something you think oh you know where i've reached in my life i already have three kids i don't want to have another one it's going to you know impact in several things for the the family as a mm. whole you could have an abortion when you're going to have an abortion you go to your gp and have a chat these are in the countries where you can have an abortion the mm. western world you talk about it and you have it's not automatic that you can mm. have an abortion therefore you walk into a place like buying a shoe may by having an abortion is a major mm. decision for the woman and you talk to the doctor or, uh, or, or a practitioner and they tell you the, the implications